When my tea gets cold, I like to heat it up in a microwave oven. But what can be done in a caravan? Well, it was 20 years ago when I fitted a microwave oven in a caravan. Nowadays, though, you get them in almost all the new caravans, and I asked the dealers why that was. Well, the manufacturers say it's grab effect. What? What's that mean? Well, it's selling. Those people who always thought it was pretty robustly out of date in a modern caravan, just like camping, suddenly step in and they not only see a fantastic kitchen, but they even say, oh look, there's a microwave oven like at home. And that's when they get interested in the world of caravanning. Of course, if you've got an older van which doesn't have a microwave oven, you can get them fitted. And if you go on the internet, you'll see that they come out at about 50 pounds. The dealers get them a lot cheaper, of course, if they're gonna buy a thousand to put into their caravan range. In this particular case, I've had this one for a dozen years and have fitted it and it's still going strong. They're made in such a way that they cope with the shakeabout of a caravan, um, but there are certain things that are important. For example, the sheer size of the casing. And I've put the size up on the board here so you can check out, because it's fairly small, both width, height and depth, and it's in inches if you don't like millimetres. But it's more than just the casing because on the back is a huge great ventilation area and that must be kept free. And on this one, the instructions say, you must leave an inch, that's 25 millimeters, all the way round to ventilate it properly. Then there's the matter of the electrical output. That's often called cooking power. And this particular one is very low, 450 watts. What that means is, is that it takes a bit longer to heat up your soup. It'll take a little bit longer to actually prepare that really nice scrambled egg. Not too important. I notice that the ones currently on sale for caravans are about 700 watts, which is still less than the ones at home. Then there's the case of the input. You see, that confuses people. They think that's all you've got to provide in the supply. But no, double that, take off about 10%, and you get a figure somewhere around here. And that's actually on the back of this on a label, the input. And that's the current that it will need to consume in order to operate. Now, how does that have an effect if you run a generator? Well, this particular generator has a 900 watt output. And you might say, oh, way over the 450 watts, but no, no. This is the figure that you're looking at, and it's only just over that. Apart from the fact that on startup, there's a little bit extra needed. And then there's the issue about weight. Even this little microwave oven weighs 13 kilograms, and typically they're positioned high up, and David Motten in his recent towing series has said we mustn't have heavy weights loaded up near the top. And we say that when we actually do reviews of caravans. There's a tendency to have them too high, that causes the caravan to heel over when it's going around sharp bends. And it's also too high for somebody who's short of stature and is reaching up to take something boiling out of the oven itself. Also, you may not understand 13 kilograms or 28 pounds and realize what that means in things that you might have to leave at home if your van is gonna be fitted with this and you're already packed up to the gunnels. 13 kilograms, try this for size. Well, that's some of the clothing you'd have to leave behind because I've checked this and guess what? It's only three kilograms, less than a quarter of the weight of that. A lot of gear that you'd have to leave at home if you fitted this. That is something to bear in mind.